Our next candidate is also from State uh, Representative District 16. This is William Thigpen. First of all, let me say thank you, Martha, for bringing this to us. Uh, I think it's great for us to come before the group of members of this community in our district to express our thoughts and our ideas about the political process. Uh, I'm very pleased that you're interested in the political process because I think it's very important that everybody be concerned about it. For, yours, for, your, for you who do not know me, I am William Thigpen. I have been serving the District 16 for the past three terms. Uh, my wife Betty is here. We've been married for 47 years, have three kids and seven grandchildren. Uh, if you don't learn enough about me, you can ask her. She'll tell you about me tonight if you want to find out <laughs> the truth. So I'm glad she's here with, with me tonight. I was first elected in 1998. I serve on the Banking and Insurance Committee, the Health Committee, Tuscaloosa Local Legislation. Been elected to the National Energy Board. Been appointed last year to the Southern States Energy Board. I serve on the Oversight Committee of the Public Examiners, and I'm on the North-South Corridor Planning Committee. Committee. I have worked with both sides of the aisle to get benefits from my district. And some of them keep saying there's, there's corruption in Montgomery, and uh, I have been told. I can say to you that I have never, ever, been accused or associated with any corruption that supposedly is going on in Montgomery. My vote is not for sale. I voted against the 62.5% raise. I voted against the double dipping bill. I voted against the bill that lowered the threshold for to have the wet dry vote. And I voted, I would have voted no on the bingo bill had it ever come up. My three main interests since I've been elected in the, in the uh, House of Representatives has been education, economic development, and senior citizens. That will continue to be my interest. We didn't have any kind of economic development association in my district when I first got elected. After spending, after I thought I could get that in six months, and after a year and a half, we finally got three counties to have a regional uh, economic development uh, association and now we're we're working to get Marion County involved in our association you know you well know that the importance of I-22 coming through our district up here and if Toyota comes along with their promise and bills their plan in Blue Springs Mississippi we, we hope that that association will be able to locate some of the tier one and tier two plants in that area this year we passed a $1.6 billion general fund bill and we passed a $5.5 billion education bill without raising any taxes. Did they, did they, did they get everything they wanted? No, they didn't. These, bill, these, these, these budgets are down about 20%. We were able to save all the state funded teacher positions and I think teachers are more important than anything else. We have programs that are wonderful. We have people coming to look at our Alabama Reading Initiative Program, which has raised our reading scores in the past two years in the, on the eighth grade and the ninth grade level. In fact, we led the nation in, in the ninth grade level a couple of years ago. We passed a $60 million bond issue to buy a Perry County prison, a private prison. And let me tell you something, our prison system in Alabama is overcrowded. We have about 28,000 prisons in a system built for 14,000. We're very fortunate we had not had anything that has to happen. We passed a PAC program, which some people were for and some people were against, but we had 40, some 48,000 people that the state told them, if you put money in this program, when you get ready to go to school, we'll have your tuition and your fees there. We felt a moral obligation to do that program, and we did. We also, in the House, passed a pack-to-pack -pack transfer. I'm, I'm, I'm for open and transparent government. I want everybody to see what's going on. Eight times we have passed a pack-to-pack -pack transfer. And the Senate has not, has failed to pass that any time. We also passed a tax credit for, to hire unemployed, uh, for business to hire un unemployed individuals. We did not, the bingo bill did not come up because there was, there was enough votes to do that and I would have voted no on that. The Federal Health Plan bill to opt out did not come up. I'm not opposed to the Attorney General filing for opting out on that thing. But I have worked hard for my district. 
Some say that I, that you know, we don't have a connection with the people here, but I can, I can assure you, you can go to any probate judge, you can go to any mayor in this, in this community, you can go to any principal in a school, you can go to my superintendent, and, and if you ask them the question, is Representative Thigpen connected to y'all, and does he come and help you with that? I think you will find the answer is positive in every case. Time's I have fair. worked very hard and very tireless to make those educational and economic development work hard in my and work and come forth in my community. I passed a, I passed a bill called the alternative, I mean the severance tax on coal, which we had been We're at three given. minutes, Mr. Thigpen. Three minutes. Yes, I'm sorry. I will tune it up, but it brought money back to my district and I will continue to do that and thank you very much. Thank you.